When counting forwards or backwards in steps of 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, or 100,000, we simply increase or decrease the digit in the correlating place value column. If we are adding, we increase the digit. If we are subtracting, we decrease the digit. For example, here is the number 5,602. If we want to increase this number in steps of 100, all we need to do is find the digit in the hundreds column, which is six, and increase it by one. This is the exact same as adding 100. Therefore, 5,602 increased by 100 is 5,702. If we want to increase my number by 1,000, then we look for the digit in the thousands column. So in 5,602, we look for the digit 5, which is in the thousands column, and again, we increase it by 1, which is the same as adding 1,000. So 5,602 increased by 1,000 is 6,602. Let's try continuing to increase our number by 1,000 each time. We already know that 5,602 increased by 1,000 is 6,602. And then if we increase the digit in the thousands again, that's 7,602, 8,602, and 9,602. But what if we wanted to continue to increase by 1,000? To increase 9,602 by 1,000, we again need to increase the digit in the thousands column by one. We know that our thousands digit is nine, and increasing nine by one makes 10. However, we can't have 10 in the thousands column. This is because each place value column can only contain a single digit. 10 thousands is the same as 10,000, so it moves into the 10 thousands column, leaving nothing in the thousands column. Therefore, we now have one in the 10 thousands column, zero in the thousands column, a six in the hundreds, a zero in the tens, and a two in the ones. Now let's try counting backwards in steps of 1,000. I have a new number, which is 562,321. We are going to decrease our number by 1,000. This is the same as counting back in steps of 1,000. We do the exact same thing as the last example. However, because we're counting backwards instead of forwards, we're going to decrease the digit in the thousands column. So my number was 562,321. We're going to find the thousands column and decrease the digit by one. The digit in the thousands column is two. One less than two is one. So my new number is 561,321. We're going to continue to decrease the number by 1,000 by continuing to decrease the thousands digit. The thousands digit is one and one less than one is zero. So we now have 560,321. But what if we continue to decrease the number by 1,000? Well, we currently have zero in the thousands column, so we must borrow from the ten thousands column. In order to do this, I will take away one ten thousand and put it in the thousands column. The value in the ten thousands column was six and has now become five, and we have ten in the thousands column, as ten thousand is ten one thousands. This allows us to decrease the thousands column by one, which is nine. So our new number is 559,321. I hope that this helped. Thanks for watching.